Everybody loves a good anime duo, and more so than that, everybody loves a good 2v2 match. That is why today I am playing an anime game with over 200 characters and a built-in 2v2 mode so that I can put as many iconic duos up against each other as possible in the pursuit to find the strongest duo in all of anime. Obviously, first up, we've got to go with the classic. We've got to go with Goku and Vegeta. Now, it might be a controversial duo to pick first, but we haven't seen them in the game yet, so I'm going with Eren and Mikasa as our second duo. A picture we... <laughs> Look at this picture. We all knew we'd see this eventually. Goku versus Eren. A very likely matchup. But in this game, I really have no idea how it's going to turn out. Oh, look at Eren just sitting there. He regrew his leg. Damn. Eren actually looks really good in this game. <laughs> All right, like I said, it's 2v2 simultaneous. Damn, Aaron's 2v1-ing all of Dragon Ball Z. Mikasa is just charging up. Aaron's a Titan shot. What? No shot. It's the attack Titan. The declaration of war has been made. He's sneaking up behind Vegeta. Damn, he's using the power of the war hammer. Oh, my God. He, he's not flinching. He has super armor. Oh, my God. Vegeta and Goku were not ready for this. Aaron's done. Why is it? Tatakai. Who's saying Tatakai? Was that a thunder spear? This is cheap. Aaron's... Oh, look at the juggle combos. Aaron's fighting him like Gil from Street Fighter. This is actually unreal. Aaron is going crazy. He's hopped out of the Titan. He wants to do the rest on foot. Actually, he wants to watch Mikasa do the rest on foot. But that's only round one. The Dragon Ball Z characters don't even start transforming until round two. So we have not seen anything yet. Oh, God, uh, it uh, backed me out. Ha <laughs> ha! I guess these are single match duels. So Goku and Vegeta inherently lose because they didn't tap in any of their transformation. Well, you know the rule. If a duo wins, they've got to go up against our next duo. Now, maybe not so much a duo, but how about rivals? What if we put all for one and one for all on the same team? Now, I'm going to be honest. I have not seen these two in the game and they're not even teammates. So I don't know if they're going to be able to stand up to uh, what Eren and Mikasa have going on. I'd love to see. I'd love to be proven wrong, though. Okay, All Might really doing it all himself. Look at that uppercut. Dead blow another uppercut to, <laughs> he smacked the shit out of Aaron that guy was not ready for that oh Mikasa putting in good work though Aaron's just kind of wave dashing another huge uppercut oh my god Aaron Mikasa not on the same page she stole him out of his combo all for one with a huge super followed by another super he's fighting the air Mikasa using all their meter to throw out a thunder spear don't know don't know if I agree when Aaron's getting juggled like this in the corner somebody save him we needed the thunder spear gives Aaron a chance to transform Aaron's almost out of the match he's dead all for what and all might have a good chance at winning here all they've got to do is put away Mikasa oh my god this could be a devastating duo oh huge combo Mikasa on the ropes but she's not giving up yet a huge happy birthday combo but this might be it no, she gets up. Doesn't have much bar. She's going to need to catch a, a huge heavy birthday combo. Instead, she catches a huge punch to the face. And that is the end of our Attack on Titan duo. I'm going to be honest. I'm not playing these two again, bro. Their voice lines are so loud. Instead, I think we're going to go ahead and move on to something. Maybe, you know, maybe people weren't expecting this. You know, and maybe we could do a whole nother duo video because I'm seeing a lot of duos. But I'm kind of feeling Luffy and I'm kind of feeling Zoro. Since we're just doing the generic, like, big anime right now, we might as well go over to Naruto and just do Naruto and Sasuke. Actually... Why not do Kakashi and Guy? That's a better duo. Naruto and Sasuke, obvious. But Kakashi and Guy? Uh, that's that's Rock Lee. Hold on. Guy might not be in the game. Okay, well, uh, <clears throat> on second thought, it appears I've made a mistake. Uh, remember what I said about Naruto and Sasuke being a little obvious? We're doing it anyway. <laughs> Look, okay, if Guy was in the game, I would have loved to do Kakashi and Guy. But he's not, so we have to do the next best thing. Oh, look at that intro for Naruto and Sasuke. They're actually looking kind of good. Luffy late to the party as always. Bro showed up and dropped his entire backpack. All right. I'm expecting this one to be one of the best so far. I'm going to be focusing more on Zoro. He's lifting weights. Damn, bro lifted weights into a double kill. Naruto and Sasuke need to start performing. Actually, Luffy needs to start doing something. He's actually just not doing anything. Naruto spawning in some shadow clones. He's intent on making this not a 2v1. Our characters are splitting up. It's going to be hard to focus on both. But actually, Luffy just doing it all himself. Oh, the, re the reverse harem jutsu. Luffy does not care. Bro does not care. He just dropped in a... He just dropped in gear third. Oh, my God. They are fighting. Oh, my God. Luffy and Zoro got him cooked. They got him on their back foot. Gear third, but he misses entirely. Oh, my God. Sasuke's already out of the fight. Oh, God. Naruto got rocked. Damn, Naruto got his shit rocked. 
Oh my god, Sasuke got taken out quick, but Luffy and Zoro were not here to play. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can Luffy and Zoro take another Naruto combo though? Can they handle Madara and Obito? Would they have been able to beat the Tentails? I gotta find out. I've yet to see Madara in this game as well. Look at Obito and Madara. A couple of menaces here. Sharingan activates pre-fight. That's a little cheap. He didn't have to spend any meter for that one. Round one, our only round. These are first to one executions here. Oh! So we're seeing again the One Piece duo really likes to split up their opponents, but with a giant Susanoo that hits both ways, by the way. What? It's going to be a little harder for them to do that. Obito and Ma wow, Madara has insane normals. This dude summons Susanoo's for fun. And there's the Ten Tails! Oh my god, Zoro getting targeted here. Luffy's got to do something to save him. They're split up. They're ganging up on Madara. Not a bad choice. We've got to get rid of that Susanoo one way or another, and especially when Obito's fighting the air. What? What is he doing? He's casting... Fireball Jutsu down the stage and, and throwing Zoro across the stage as well. It appears Obito's great at keep away. So much that he's keeping himself away from the fight. What is bro doing? Madara's dying. He needs help, Obito. He's just skipping to his Lou over there. He let Madara die. <laughs> now it's just Obito. And still, he's just skipping to his Lou. Not impossible for him to win, though. He just can't get ganged up on. He's got a combo. He needs a move that hits both ways. Zoro and Luffy are playing too good for him. He needs more chakra. He manages to get it with the Tentails. But Zoro's got his captain's back! No way! Oh, he pushed them both away. He needs time to gather up Chakra. It's not over yet. Double Sunday. One Piece duo going to get him. And they've got him. They locked it up. A close match. But Obito's selfishness dealing with Madara pretty much sealed the deal for him. Our One Piece duo wins another match. All right. Well, let's see if they can take on Yusuke and Hiei. Oh, he already pointed the spirit gun at him. Why Yusuke standing so zesty like that? Luffy late to another fight, but so far, the results speak for themselves. They've been fighting really good. I want to see something out of Yusuke and Hiei here. I want to see another duo take the stand. What? Did Yusuke really just stay, spend a bar to stand there? Bro is being selfish. Oh my god, they're doing the thing where they gather up on one again. Oh, Yusuke saying that it was worth the wait. Hiei slices through both of them, but seems to miss. Unless his swordsmanship skills are so good that he just cut between the atoms. Oh my god, Yusuke's beating up on Luffy. And Hiei's beating up on Zoro. It seems that 1v1, the One Piece duo, aren't standing up. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. They've switched it up a little bit. I'm going to focus in on Hiei versus Zoro here. Hiei got Zoro split up, doing a little bit of a combo. Meanwhile, Luffy, let's cut back. Oh my god, he's just bodying him in the corner. Oh, so much so that Luffy's decided to move on. Spirit Gun, though, you don't look away from him. Damn! The combo against Luffy. He's got a lot of health left, but they're juggling him. An amazing combo. Spirit Gun follow up. This might, we might have seen the last of our One Piece duo. They might be able to get Hiei down. And if they can do that, maybe they can jump Yusuke. But they've got to be careful about how they approach. That might be the end of Zoro. It is, but it's now 1v1. Luffy clutches up. Yusuke's on his last bit of health. But a counter from Yusuke. He's not out of the match yet, but now he is. He ran out of counters. But that was a really clutch move. Luffy actually stands up and does it for the team. Unreal that I have to find another duo for these two to go up against. Is there nobody that can stop them? Other than Gon and Kilua, of course. Yeah, you know I was locking in Gon and Kilua. I already did this in my first doubles attempt. So we've got to see it do it again. Look at Gon taking a picture. Frame perfect. I know it's technically pronounced going by the way, but I watched it and I watched it before I saw the English dub. I didn't know how to say it. Maybe I'm stupid. They said his name anyway, but I, I just read it as gone. Okay. So it's going versus Kilua here against our un, un, undisputed duo champ. Oh my God. Look at this combo. This is why the one piece duo has been able to do it for so long. See, I, well, usually they're working. As a oh, he thought he got away with murder there. Caught Zoro lifting weights. Oh my God. That fishing rod was brutal. <laughs> Once again, our One Piece duo is going for a split up strat. Zoro's the one gaining the meter for him. And then Luffy's just going to town. But it appears we've once again seen a split up for a couple of 1v1s. Zoro versus Gon. Kilo versus Luffy. Oh, but now the, two, the duos are back. And right now it looks like One Piece has corner advantage. This is brutal. This is truly brutal. Hunter Hunter's got to get out of the corner. But I don't think they have the time or the health anymore. Any one hit will do it. That's Kilo gone. That's Gon gone. And Kilo, no wait, neither of them, both of them are still up? No, Gon's dead after that. And Kilo is surely is soon to follow. There he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. They, they, they lost in a hurry. All right, I'll do two more duos. If Luffy and Zoro can get through two more duos, I don't know what to do. This is insane. I'm sorry, but this might just be the duo to end it. Yugi and Kaiba teaming up in the tag duel for their lives. They've got to stop them here. If Yugi and Kaiba can stop them here, maybe they still stand a chance in the Battle City Tournament. They've both drawn their opening hands. This is going to be the greatest tag duel of all time. I just hope Yugi and Kaiba know that their opponents aren't playing any cards. It's a fight to the death and they're on. Huge summon, Beta the Magnet Warrior, followed by Dark Magician and a Trap Card. Was that Catapult Turtle we saw? Yugi shuffling his hand. It's a 1v1 duel, Time Wizard. He 
throw Zoro in Oh my god, Luffy is just throwing hands. Luffy is throwing hands! What is happening? What was that? Yugi and Kaiba had a good start, but Luffy just brought out the hat. They are beating their ass! Damn! Oh my god! They're playing trading card games. Monster reborn, but that's not gonna help shit. Oh, I think Kaiba's already dead. Yugi the Pharaoh stands alone. But it's, um, he's dead too. Let's be honest. That was cheap. That was actually just cheap. I don't know where Zoro and Luffy got that, but that, for, <laughs> that was not a card game. <laughs> Well, I've waited long enough. Everybody remembers the most iconic 2v1 in all of anime. Uh, Nanami and Yuji. It was a 2v1 and they were doing great, but can they handle a 2v2? I had these two in my mind the entire time I was planning this video out. I knew it had to include them. I didn't think they'd be going up against God Mode Luffy and Zoro, but I don't know. A captain and his right-hand man versus a teacher and student. This is gonna be a crazy match. One way or the other, we're either gonna see the undisputed King God duo or the new runner-ups. We need a new kid on the block. Okay, Yuji. Okay, they're just getting comboed again. We're seeing another One Piece combo fest. Oh, wait. Oh, we're seeing some good combos from the other side here. Jujutsu Kaisen has a strong showing. It's Zoro's reach, though. They're having a hard time dealing with Zoro. Honestly, and Yuji's really letting down Nanami. Nanami was doing really well, but Yuji's just not doing anything. He's just wave dashing. Bro is doing nothing. Wait, he's got a super. Now he's just wave dashing again. It's always up to Nanami. Nanami always has to clean up. And right now he's getting cleaned up. Year second from Luffy. Nanami once again jumping in. He's just blocking. Nanami kind of built like a Happy Wheels character. I don't know how to describe it other than that. Bro's a little weird. Wait, the cursed energy from Yuji though. I think Yuji just missed. I don't know what he just charged up and did, but he just missed. Oh my God. Oh, it's, it's, it's rough. It's over. There's no way. There's no way they make it out of this. Yuji back dash. It's 1v2 now. He's got to clutch up. He's not going to clutch up. He's getting bodied. He's done. It wasn't even close. Luffy and Zoro remain the undisputed god duo in this game. They simply can't be stopped. <gasps> Wait, maybe one more duo might be able to do it. What if we do Jotaro and Dia? What if? What if? This wasn't the duo I was originally thinking, but what if, you know? I didn't picture them in my mind when I was making this video, but maybe, just maybe, they can put a stop to this One Piece reign. They are already posing up a storm. Come on. We've got to see something big out of JoJo's here. Oh, we're seeing some big stand work. Some big knife throws from Dio as well. They're posing. They've got almost three bars. They're going to spend it earlier to stop time. He's posing while time stopped. They can't do anything. Time's resumed. But it's, it's only a matter of time until they pause it again. Surely. Oh my God. They're beating up on Zoro and Luffy's doing nothing to stop it. Maybe he just has trust that the swordsman can hold out. We've seen big stamina feats from Zoro before. Can he get another health feat? Oh, he turned Zoro to... He froze Zoro. Dio's charging up. Jojo... Oh, they stopped time. The, the sad part is even his teammates is off. And he was just wave dashing for fun. Big combos on Luffy. Doesn't do a ton of damage. Somebody stopped time. Zoro's in crazy mode. Instead, he's just going to throw knives at him. Oh, my. Oh, it's a good thing he stopped time. He's saving his teammate. His teammate was about to get jumped. A great use of his super. Dio responds to it naturally. Just combos Luffy. That was a big time stop there. Yotaro needs to do it again. I don't know what happened. I think this is a Dio super. They need to be able to stop time one more time. Surely if they have any hope of winning. Wait, a big double Sunday combo from Jotaro. And he stopped times again. To throw a weapon to Dio? I don't know if that was on purpose. Or maybe he just dropped the combo. I think he just dropped the combo. Oh no, he's dead. It's just Dio now. But maybe this is what he was waiting for. <gasps> no, wait! Jotaro lived with zero health! He's comboing Luffy while time stopped! But one hit will kill Jotaro. He's dead now. It's up to Dio. Huge double Sunday combo! He froze them both! Dio might be able to do it alone. He's dead. We die here! I'm not gonna lie, Dio let down Jotaro here. And so it looks like One Piece is our undisputed duo champions for today's video. If you guys wanna see him come back and fight even more duos, make sure to like button, subscribe, share the video, and check out some of these videos that's on your screen. I have been Dado Doya, and well, I guess One Piece wins this one. It was, I'm not even gonna lie, it wasn't even that close.